Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Norman J. Warren Bloody Terror Movie Marathon. Yes, baby, you know it. This is terror and also this box set includes the same picture as its primary cover. So this is probably the number one movie in this box. Yes, let me tell you about this film. Well, this is a story about when director Norman J. Warren saw Dario Argento's Suspiria and thought up that he can make a film like this. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is clearly British Suspiria and British Argento film. I like it. I like this kind of shameless attitude that we're gonna copy it. We're gonna copy this uh, Italian very successful horror film and we gonna make it like it was made in Britain. We gonna make it like our own, yes. So the film opens in the Middle Ages and there's this person that villagers suspect is a witch and they hunt her down and burn at stake. And then we cut to contemporary times and we are in the mansion where this family lived who executed the witch person in the Middle Ages and their descendants. They have been making a movie about this thing, about this family curse, about this witch burning and having this curse for centuries in the family. And everybody suspects that nobody is gonna see this film this film is rubbish. In the film party there's this hypnotizing guy. He hypnotizes one lady and then apparently he opens some sort of spiritual doors to beyond or something like that because this lady she gets in trance and tries to kill John Nolan who is playing the family lead the head of the family James Garrick. James is hurt and he beats up the girl <laughs> and then the curse begins, but I don't think this curse even has anything to do with this family curse because a lot of people get killed that, that are not part of the family. But never mind, like Norman J. Warren himself said that plot is not plot is not important because he saw Suspiria and was marveling that wow. This does not make any sense. It, I gotta, I gotta do this thing because there's no need for uh, complex plot devices or stuff like that. Just put some weird, eerie noises that come out of nowhere and put some weird colors that come out of nowhere. Reds, blues, greens. The whole Dario Argento zabang, and also put some bloody murder in there. Knife wields in this film a lot, yes. Knife, and we never get to see who is actually doing the knifing, but it seems like there is no knifer around. <laughs> it's not a slasher film, it's more like a Lucio Fulci Beyond type of deal. Because spirits make strange things happen, nothing makes any sense. Cars are even flying to the fucking air, and knives are moving by themselves, and swords are moving and impaling people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. And this is the most successful film that Norman J. Warren has ever done. It was number one at the British cinema at the time in the year 1978 when it was released. Like I said in my Satan's Slave review that I'm not a big fan of these occult things. And also I'm not a big fan of this kind of Lucio Fulci Beyond type of uh, mysterious stuff happening. Like spirit making all these things move by themselves on stuff like that. But I have to admit that this is pretty fun movie. No, this is entertaining and it is much more faster moving film than the previous films. And this too is 85 minutes and uh, it's much easier film to watch than Satan's Slave or Prey. You can just turn off your brain and enjoy the ride. And there's some bloody murder. There's you know, knifings and also the beheading scene in the beginning and yeah, there's plenty to go around and nudity, yes. There's this weird stripper scene. <laughs> Everybody who has seen the film remembers that stripper. She was a real stripper and that is her act. Very strong three stars, maybe even three and a half stars. Well, let's hell, let's do three and a half stars because who's counting here? And of course, I have the Finnish VHS 
this in my hand and this thing is also from Golomos Kanava. Maybe this is ripped off from some Giallo movie or something like that. I don't know, but, but I don't know any other release that would have this type of cover. Yeah, but this thing is hell of a rare tape and here, here is what it looks like. Terror! And Golomos Kanava logo here. And also, I have seen this before because I also have the Swedish release on DVD. Beslag dagen, police ratsior, which kind of, I read this, <laughs> yes, Swedish is supposed to be another Finnish language, but yeah, I'm from Tampere, so I don't know that too well. But what can I gather here is that this thing was, was banned, was confiscated by the police in the early 80s in in Sweden when this Studio S showed this program about the very violent films that were re being rented for children in the early 80s Sweden so this is kind of like this like a kind of great time capsule for that censorship times but let's talk about this here we of course we have new 2k restoration and picture quality like in the others is very very smooth and very stylish and very colorful indeed this is clearly the most colorful film so far i have seen from norman j warren and this really this blu-ray amps up the color and it looks great overall we also have commentary with director and screenwriter david mac Gilray, who was also on Satan's Slave commentary. And I listened to it and these lovely old chaps are remembering so fondly the times they made this film and also remembering the uh, challenges about making this film and everything that there is to be listened to. And also we get some similarities, parallels to the documentary because here we have the early years, a short documentary, 70 minutes about, it's an interview with the director Norman J. Warr when he talks about London after the war and how we got into the film business. And also we have the archival documentary from Arrow Video, no, Anchor Bay 2004 DVD release, bloody good fun. It's got interviews from all other cast members too, and they too remember this project very fondly. And then we have John Nolan interviewed. Christopher Nolan's uncle is John Nolan, the actor who plays lead role in this. And also John Nolan plays a part in Dark Knight Rising. Holy shit, I did not know that. Holy shit. You learn from these things every day when you watch the extras. Always watch the extras. And then was this Norman J. Warren's horror show when Norman J. Warren presents four British independent horror film that was half an hour and that that, that was kind of kind of entertaining to say the least this Norman J Warren's horror show check it out if you have the have the disc in your possessions yeah another great blu-ray with great set of extras great picture and hours of fun i highly recommend this bloody terror the box of Norman J Warren movies from powerhouse indicator series. I have put link in the description of this video where you can get it if you want to support my channel and use that link. I would highly appreciate it. But next up I will gonna go see Inseminoid, a science fiction horror film from year 1981. Yes, I will see you soon in the next episode, but thank you for watching and also remember to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you like this video and also if you have something comments or questions about this films or other things video talk things do not hesitate to comment on it so yes i will go now bye bye yeah